had an inquiry recently regarding a costs assessment uh, for a probate matter. The chap wasn't happy with his old solicitor's costs and he wanted them assessed. It turns out he'd received some pretty sound advice from his mate down at the pub. I'm Nino Cafaro, I'm a solicitor, and I'm going to talk to you about what you should be doing down the pub. Now, those of you who know me well will know that these kind of stories annoy me almost as much as anyone calling the food they serve at Pizza Hut pizza. So this fella, advice from his mate down the pub, he runs with it. Any issues, legal proceedings in the High Court. He said it was easy, just filled in the form, paid 50 quid, bingo, the hearing was set. Luckily, he ran into another mate who told him that he needed to get some real legal advice. And he gave him my number and he called me. It turns out that he hadn't issued proceedings within the correct time frame. On top of that, he'd missed out some vital information and he hadn't served the defendant, i.e. the solicitor that he'd issued proceedings against. Which means that not only he wouldn't have known about the hearing, but even if he did find out, he wouldn't have known what he was defending. So I asked him why he hadn't served the defendant. And he said, well, you know, I thought the court did that. They don't. But he didn't know that, of course, and it seems that neither did his mate down a pub. So he asked me if I could withdraw his application, resubmit it properly. Now, we could do that, but I told him that he'd risk uh, an abuse of process and the court requires parties to bring their whole case before the court so that all aspects of it can be decided once and for all. And that means you can't just later advance arguments, claims or defences which you could have put forward on the first occasion and you failed to do so. Breaching that rule is an abuse of process and that was decided a very long time ago, all the way back in 1843 in a case called Henderson and Henderson. His mate down the pub didn't know that. It turns out there's a way around it. And uh, guess what? His mate down the pub didn't know that either. Bottom line, if he hadn't taken proper legal advice, he could have ended up with a really strong case, ready to go and have it struck out simply because he hadn't followed process. On top of that, he'd have had to pay the other side's costs for the hearing. So his mate's advice down the pub turned out to be about as sound as a Tory mini budget. Moral of the story, when you're down the pub with your mates, probably best not to take legal advice from them, unless of course, they are a solicitor. What should you be doing down the pub? Get yourself a bag of dry roasted peanuts, a couple of drinks, get your mobile out, hit the Uber app, and get yourself home before your mum locks you out. If you found that useful, hit the thumbs up. If you want to talk legal with Nino, sometimes pubs, just hit the subscribe button.